I bet you like that freedom I bet you like your new name oh, Welcome to the kingdom Yeah, well, we all feel that way So if you see somebody sleeping like The way you used to be Tell them about the Savior mm, A little thing called free Go ahead Welcome to the chapel. My name is Madeline Luzinski and I serve as the Director of Pastoral Care here at the Florida United Methodist Children's Home. Our mission is to empower children and families to experience the love of Christ through holistic care. I think that's what makes us unique, that holistic care. We offer children care through body and mind, but also in spirit. We view spirituality and faith as a meaningful way for people to cope to build resilience and to instill hope for the future. And so when a child comes into our care, I meet with them one-on-one -on -one to learn a little bit about their faith background. Have they ever been to a place of worship before? Do they believe in a higher power? Do they call that higher power God? And based on our conversation, we put things in place to help them grow spiritually while they are with us. Some of our kids come from a Christian background. In fact, most of them do have had some sort of experience with the Christian church. Some of our kids come to us with no religious background whatsoever, and a few come from different faith backgrounds. Our goal is to meet each child exactly where they are and to help them to grow in a way that's meaningful for them. Because majority of our kids come to us from a Christian background, the majority of our programming is Christian in nature. And while we provide spiritual care and we understand the real benefits of spirituality, we also have to be mindful of the fact that some of our kids have experienced spiritual trauma. Spiritual abuse is a thing that is real and not all of us are aware of it. But some of our kids have experienced religion as a punishment or consequence. Some of our kids have experienced abuse at the hands of someone who is a person of faith. And some of our kids have come to have a distorted understanding of who God is and how they can understand themselves as being loved by God. And so we keep all of that in mind as we provide spiritual care for our kids while they're here with us. Our programming comes from the perspective that we are a temporary home. And so all of our kids have the opportunity to grow while they're here and we see ourselves as planters of seeds that what we do now has the opportunity to grow into something big in the future. And so our church here at the Children's Home is called SPARK. It's a name that our kids came up with in 2016, and SPARK stands for Spiritually Powerful and Righteous Kids. We are a community of faith that gathers here at the home, and at the heart of our community, we have this community statement that we say every week, where we remind ourselves of who we're striving to be that we're a community that believes that we are deeply loved by God, that we want to accept others for who God made them to be, and that we do this by welcoming, supporting, loving, and serving every person we meet. Our kids find a deep sense of identity in being a member of SPARK, of participating here in the worship that we offer. It's something that they love and they love to share with other people. And so at SPARK, it, we have Sunday morning services. And Sunday mornings are an opportunity for our kids to worship and connect with God. And they are active participants in that. They don't come and just sit in the congregation, but they lead. They are members of our praise band. They are on our tech team. They work on the computers and the cameras and the soundboard. And they lead prayers. They serve as ushers. And so for them, it's a real way to connect not only emotionally, but physically to this place in this space in this community. So every Sunday we come together and we worship God here. And it's a wonderful opportunity for the kids to build that relationship with God and to build their relationships 
with one another. Another key activity that we have here in the chapel is our youth group that happens on Wednesday nights. Our youth group includes a lot of the things that you probably see in the youth group at your local church. We have a lesson that's taught by Betty, who is our program coordinator, and she does a great job of taking really big concepts and making them understandable for our youth. And of course, no youth group would be complete without a bunch of fun and games. And so we use those as ways for kids to help build relationships and practice interpersonal skills. The chapel here at the Children's Home has become home to our performing arts programs. And we have opportunities for kids to take music lessons and to build their skills. Um, Blake is our worship coordinator and he works with the kids one-on-one. -on -one. Oftentimes, youth have never picked up an instrument and he meets them where they are, teaches them the basics, and it's amazing to see how in just a few months they go from not having any music knowledge whatsoever to being on stage and leading in our praise band on a Sunday morning. We also have dance as an opportunity for our youth to use their bodies and to exercise, but also to connect with God and do praise dance. We have theater, which is a group that puts on plays several times during the year. And if, I may be biased, but I think our theater productions are fantastic. And Betty, our program coordinator, works really closely with our, with our youth to help instill confidence, to build their the speaking skills so that they can stand on a stage and feel empowered and perform in front of a large group of people. In addition to our arts, we all know that service is a big component of faith that we not only have a relationship with God for our own personal benefit, but that our, ultimately our goal is to share the love of God with other people and to help build God's kingdom here on earth. And so we give our kids opportunities to serve in their local community. One of the main ways we've done this is through day of service. Um, we connect with our community partners, whether that's churches or organizations or even our neighbors here in Enterprise, and we do service projects. We might landscape or paint or clean out a closet or organize something new. And every time we have one of these opportunities to serve, our youth come back with big smiles on their faces and they're just so excited about the opportunity to give back. Our kids are really awesome. It's really exciting and wonderful to see the ways that they grow and they change and they heal while they're here in our care. I think it's about time that you meet one of them. So let's go.